All right, 2015 Super Break Deluxe Box Breakers Edition. Uh, one hit, 153 spot, random category break number two. All right, here's how this is going to work. When we opened this case up, there were seven total items in the case. In box three, we labeled all the, we numbered everything up. In box three, there were four cards. Okay? In box six, there were three cards. That made for a total of 12 items in the case. Via random, we ended up going with box three. And we used two of the four cards for the first 153 spotter. We're going to stick with items one through seven again. If box three hits, we're going to go with the other two cards in there. In the event box six hits, there are three cards in here. We will go with one of those three cards. Okay, this is the only way to make it ten fair spots in the case. All right. So we have one through seven, once again, in the randomizer. We are going to roll the dice, and we'll use the same dice roll for everything in the Everything in the break. Huge. Good luck, guys. All right, here we go. We only re-roll snake eyes. We're gonna. It's all random. Everything's random. Here we go. Three. We're going three times. Go, baby. Three times. We've got one through seven on the randomizer. Same as the first go around. Box seven. Come on, baby. One through seven. We'll go with the top number on three. Good luck, guys. One. Two. Third and final time. Seven. Number seven. <laughs> number seven <laughs> on three. What is it, the bat? That the oh. gold thing, the gold oh, thing. Oh shit! Seven. Doesn't mean it's gonna be the best thing. I just say it was the only one in gold. <laughs> this is number seven. Come on, baby! Yeah! Why the gold's not good, Jim? Mom, the meatloaf. Jeb, right. is the gold not good? I, I just assumed. I was I was praying for you to get seven. <laughs> All right, so we're going to open the item first, and then we're going to randomize the 153 break spots and the 153 break categories. Okay? You'd love to, Shaner, but, you know, you have a, it's mystery. You know, you don't know. It's like... No, Nick, it didn't. Number seven. Oh, you're not in this one. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought the goal was okay. I still think the bat's going to be the best one. Here we go, guys. Good luck, everybody. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's a baseball. Wow. What is it? Tom Brady, the station here. <laughs> It's a baseball. Uh, it's Ted Williams, We right? got a Ted Williams on there. Oh. Uh, the wow. Yeah, good. Uh, it's one of those two. Wow. He's on the back. Bottom of the second. Wow. Right here. All right, guys. Inside the box, inside the, the master case, there's a letter of authenticity. Okay. April 1990 signed ball. With 25 Hall of Famers, JSA certified. Yogi Berra Musial. Wow. Ted Williams. Lemon Reese. Pee Wee Reese. 25 signatures. Who's complaining about five bucks now? <laughs> HB, you're the fucking truth. That's not, it doesn't need to be random. There's a spot for that, right? Well, right. it's the, the names. Oh, yeah, random all the names? Yeah, I believe so. 
Signatures, here we go. Signatures include Ted Williams, Yogi Berra, Stan Musial, Bob Feller, Red Schoendeist, Johnny Mize, Pee Wee Reese, Ralph Kiner, Bob Lemon, Eddie Matthews, Joe Morgan, and others. I don't know what that means. Others. I guess they're others that they don't put in their checklist, maybe. Okay, this should just be made simple. No, he stayed in the break. Sports memorabilia. Last, He's on stayed in. Last name. It's not like a multiple spot one. A through D name, baseballs, 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 baseballs. No. How many spots are there? Yeah. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We'll have to random it between these spots. Two different randoms. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Seven with other. Yeah. Seven, yeah. All right, guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this up so you guys can see how this is going to work. Ready? And under the categories, under, if you look on our website, under the categories, right? There are, a, these are the, the baseball under sports memorabilia. See how it says balls up here? It goes by the last name. So if this was a ball that was autographed by Babe Ruth, then it would go to the Q through S spot for baseballs. Right here. Q through S name baseballs. But there are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. He said balls. There are seven baseball name spots. Stolen. There are... 25 Hall of Famers on here and not every one of them is listed so the fairest way to do it would be once we random everybody's spot okay the seven the seven spots that have eight uh, the, the seven spots that have the name baseballs the seven spots that have the name baseballs we should random those again and one of those spots gets the ball. Yeah, it's the third one. Yeah. Because there's people on here we don't know. They don't have a full list. If you look at this certificate of authenticity, it show it names some people and then it says and others. They probably couldn't make them out. That's what you gotta do. There's no other way to do it. Because if you do it, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if somebody gets A through whatever, E, and there might be three people on here with A through E. Right. So you can't do it any right. other way. Right. You gotta random it, and those seven who got ball spots, because it's a multi ball, random those seven people, and that's just the, very, the only way to do it. There's no other way to do it. Yeah, it probably ends up being one name from each category anyway. Yeah, but if it's not, you can't, you know, no discrepancies. It's just straight up random it. Seven people who have the ball spot move on, and then those seven get random. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not it's not specified like that, AJ731. <laughs> All right. Yeah, AJ, I, I know. Actually, AJ, you want to know the truth? The guy who designed the product told us this way to do it. This was their breakdown, believe it or not. Let's pretend, AJ, let's pretend, right? Let's pretend that this was a case. Who does the ball go to? You ran him, the, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hit trip. Yeah, yeah oh, that's, hit trip. Yeah, hit trip. All right, so we're going to random everybody's name, the 153 spots and the 153 categories, the seven people who have name baseballs will get put back into another random, okay, using the same dice roll. We're sticking with three from before. And then the top spot after that will win the ball. Only because there's not every name on the baseball specified. Says and others. 
dent in that bottle, you heard? I made 20 trips just now, didn't even put a dent in it. Probably better to do the spot that is going to get it first. Oh yeah, I see what they're saying. What do you mean? Do the seven, random those seven spots right now. You know what I'm saying? Random them as seven individual spots, and, and then, then highlight the spot that ends up with it is going to get it. Oh, yeah, we could do that. We could do that. So basically, take these it's seven spots. Yeah, then I got to go back through the whole list anyway. All right, so we'll do that. It's going to be the same thing either way. Yeah, it's the same outcome. It's the same thing either way. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Josh. Because those seven people will be. <laughs> no, when we roll the dice, we only re-roll snake eyes. We don't do any ones here, Steven. No ones. We don't do anything with ones. If we get if we get snake eyes, we re-roll re -roll the dice, and then we random that. That's how many times we roll the dice. Welcome back, Stevie. We never roll a one. All right, so we're gonna do that first. No, no tops, Chrome. No tops, Chrome. All right. Yeah, double play, I know. Listen, this is, uh, I'll take the blame for this one. I, it was my failed attempt at trying to make this, this product a, a cheap break yeah, for everybody. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Failed attempt at trying to make it cheap spots for everybody on me but this is a ridiculous ridiculous hit here thank you Justin Vance all right so this is how I'm gonna do it guys here we go I'm putting into random.org Putting into random.org the seven spots that have baseballs, the names. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the seven. We're going to do this same thing. We're sticking with the dice roll three. Three times, whichever one ends up on the top is going to be the one that wins it after we do the full 153 spot random. All right, here we go. One. Two. Third and final time. M through P. M through P. So after we do the full 153 spot random, the person who ends up with the M through P name baseballs is going to be the person who wins this ball. All right, Jay Griffin, coming. M through P, all right. Again, we're sticking with the dice roll of three. I'm going to start with the 153 categories. Here we go. Three times. One. Two. Third and final time. Three. It's going to be spot 15. Whoever ends up in spot 15. Yo, let's fill up a case of this stuff tonight, guys. A hit draft, 10 spots. Let's fill up a case. I don't care if we got to stay here till tomorrow at noon. Oh, yeah. Fill it. Long haul, baby. Let's do a full case hit draft. Get a few taken. We'll do fillers on all the rest. A full case, 10 Only people. 25 left in the three box. Three hitter. 10 people. 
snake draft it. We'll open the case up, put everything on the table. If there's 10 items, you get one each. If there's 20 items, you get two each. You know, it snake drafts back up. You could hit a huge home run with that. Huge. All right, guys. Once again, M through P is going to be spot 15. Spot 15. Let me pull up this uh, sheet here. 15 is going to be the M through P. All right, now I'm going over to the... These are all the spot holders for the break. Thank you, Joe. Can you get this I am me your name? This I am me your name so I can put you on our master list. Actually, I'll probably be able to figure it out. All right, guys. Once again, going three times. The person who ends up in spot 15 on three is the winner of the baseball. Good luck, everybody. Best of luck. This is nerve-wracking right here. One. Two. Thank you, Joe. Third and final time. Spot 15 wins the ball. Three. Zahn. Zahn! Is the winner in 15. Zahn is the winner. Three times. Why? You won. <laughs> you won fair and square, brother. <laughs> you leave my Zahn alone. <laughs> Yeah, lucky man, lucky man. Congratulations. All right, thanks for the fill-up, guys.